thoughts to uh, uh, Mr. Amitabh Kant as well. He joins us now for the first reaction from uh, the government's end. Mr. Kant, always a pleasure. Many thanks for joining us. Uh, uh, the budget is now delivered. There's plenty there on the tax front. Uh, uh, some of the concerns there with respect to long-term capital gains and the changes that have been announced. But on balance, the message is one of continuity. The message is one of macroeconomic stability. Your first reaction, Mr. Kant. Uh, so, Shireen, I think the focus really is on growth with uh, huge emphasis on employment. I think uh, the important thing is to, you know, if, uh, as the economic survey said, if you have to create 8 million jobs a year, uh, these new schemes on employment, you know, that uh, first-time employees uh, to get their one-month salary uh, or uh, the second one, uh, you know, both employer and employees to benefit, uh, you know, uh, and secondly, uh, you know, from their EPFO account, and thirdly, for the employers, again, to benefit. Uh, so, and then a new scheme for skilling, uh, the centrally sponsored scheme for skilling. And uh, to my mind, uh, this internship uh, with about 500 top companies, uh, all these are uh, uh, path-breaking measures, to my mind, in terms of employment. But the other big thing, too, uh, is the focus on urban development you know, uh, creating uh, uh, growth centers next to 100 cities, creating industrial parks next to, uh, you know, the 12 industrial parks. Because if you want to create good quality jobs, it's not through subsidization. It, th that'll come through manufacturing and through urbanization. And that's uh, very important. And the third is, uh, you know, the focus on energy transition, which is very important. And uh, th this emphasis on pumped storage, for which, uh, to my mind, there's huge potential and uh, small modular reactor because uh, these are cutting edge technology where India has to leapfrog. And, uh, uh, you know, this doing away with the angel tax uh, for startups uh, is again uh, a path breaking move. So other than other than, you know, you know, the stock market may look at uh, the tax on the long long term investments, etc. stock market. But from a perspective of growth, from the perspective of employment, from the perspective of uh, research and innovation and urban development, it's quite a remarkable budget. Uh, yes, uh, we will have to see the fine print of those uh, schemes that were announced specifically for employment. Uh, the good news is that they have linked that to the EPFO enrollment for the formal sector. But Mr. Khan, yeah. you know, two questions I have specifically for you. Uh, yesterday, the economic survey made it very clear that, look, corporates are sitting on record profitability. Uh, corporate profitability has quadrupled in the last three years, and it is now time for the private sector to take up the baton. And if you look at the CapEx number, the ask and the expectation was that the government needs to do better than the interim budget, but that's not the case. It's status quo on CapEx. So the message that the government seems to be sending out is, we've done our part and now the private sector needs to pick up the pace. But in that transition period, do you envisage some hiccups on growth, Mr. Kant? So, Shireen, you know, taking it from 1% to 3.4% uh, is, is a huge amount. And uh, if you look at it, uh, the government uh, in the last three to four years has really pushed all its uh, resources into CapEx spend. And to my mind, it continues to do that at 3.4%. But it's also time now for the private sector investment to kick in in a big way. And I, my, to my mind, that was impacted because of the COVID. COVID, but it has started kicking in and it will drive greater impetus with this budget. So I envisage that in the coming years in a lot of sectors, particularly the PLI related sectors, you will see a lot of uh, fresh investments coming in. And I don't think we need to worry on that count. The government has really done its uh, best. You know, to stick on to 3.4 percent uh, uh, CapEx itself is a, is a very huge thing. And yet to retain your, to bring down your fiscal uh, deficit deficit to 4.9 percent. That, to my mind, is a remarkable mm. thing that you are saying 4.9 percent, you will bring it down to 4.5 percent. You are yeah. really laying down the glide path uh, for the fiscal uh, uh, deficit in the budget, which in the long run is very critical for the Indian economy. 
Uh, Mr. Khan, the valid point that you make there, I will address the PLI issue with you in just a second, but let me get the benefit of all of our viewers. You had asked for that clarification. Uh, Sunil had asked for it, or I think Madhu specifically. Uh, the STT hike is effective from the 23rd of July. So basically, it's effective from today. The hike as far as the securities transaction taxes, uh, the, the STT hike has come in from the 23rd of July. I would imagine that's the case for some of the other tax changes that have been announced as well. So that's the clarification coming in. Effective the 23rd of July. But Mr. Kant, coming back now uh, to the measures as far as the manufacturing sector is concerned, and I guess you will need to see this holistically in light of what has happened on the customs duty side, in light of what has happened on the announcements on the industrial parks, uh, MSMEs, and so on and so forth as well. But the expectation was more PLI schemes uh, would be introduced, especially for labor intensive yeah. sectors. That's not been the case. Uh, your comments on that? So I think the best thing, uh, to my mind, Shireen, the finance minister has done is not to spread the PLI uh, thin. The important thing is that the PLI is meant to create large champions, big champions. And PLI is, should be limited to 14 sectors. We must ensure success, as we've done in the case of electronics, in the other 13 sectors. PLI is, should never be spread thin. That is not a long-term solution. The long-term solution is to make India a very highly competitive nation. Uh, it should become very easy, simple. It must become the most cost-competitive nation in the world. That is what the budget aims at. PLI is meant for five years if you go big, bigger, bigger, and biggest. But it's not a, it's not a solution for uh, inefficiencies. The government is trying to address macro inefficiencies in our economy. We must get that right. And therefore, I'm really, really grateful to the finance minister that she's not spread out the PLI thin. Uh, Mr. Kant, coming back to you in just a second, sir, but we do have more clarifications with regards to the capital gains tax. 